This is Queen Elizabeth, my elephant ear, and she is just, she's looking very pitiful these days. I'm doing my best. I'll tell you what she is doing right now. She's mirroring my energy. I'm smiling, but really I'm dead inside. And I'm feeling Hello there, Lemonheads, and welcome back to the Lemonade Stand, or welcome if you are new. My name is Brianna. I'm a certified personal trainer, a big, huge biology nerd, and a registered dietitian to be. Specifically, I'm a dietetic intern. I just finished my community and public health rotation and I'm currently dead inside. I'm just kidding, I had a great time. Today we're here for a long overdue episode of my ongoing series, MLM Top Fails. Health, Science, Nutrition, Wellness Edition. I think we're in episode 28 right about now. In this series, we react to, debunk, and if applicable, have a good laugh at the ridiculous and oftentimes inaccurate health and wellness information that MLM representatives spread to show their terrible products. Before before we proceed, if you love science-based health, wellness, and fitness education, and some lols, and some soul-crushing sarcasm on the way, why not hit that subscribe button and join the Lemonade Stand because I would just really love to have you here. All right, guys, without further ado, let's make some lemonade. Today's video is coming at you, unscripted, except the intro. We're actually going to react to something that's been in my, um, email inbox for a while. Just so everybody knows my inbox is always open if you guys wanna send me stuff. It's actually probably better than DMs. The video we're about to react to was sent to me by somebody who frequently sends me photos, videos, and um, et cetera of multi-level marketing representatives just, just behaving egregiously and making hideously inaccurate health claims. So today's episode is brought to you by that person. Just wanna say thank you. You know who you are. I appreciate it. The video that we're watching today is a plexus rep droning on and on and on about the the pink drink that Plexus has. In the email that this person sent me with the video link in it, she put in the subject line, Plexus helps diabetes health claims. So uh, this video is probably gonna be bad. Again, this video is unscripted. I have watched maybe the first 20 to 30 seconds of this video, so I don't know what's in store. Here we go. It's been a while. It sure has. Hello. Hello. You wanna say hi? Hi. Say hi. Hi. Eating his honey bun. Ugh. I just told him he didn't like the stuff on his fingers. I'm like, lick your fingers. So he's doing that. Ew. Ew. We're going to need a bath after that. So, good morning. Happy Sunday. That is disgusting. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, here, wipe him on your paper towel. Wipe him on your paper towel. All right, so we're gonna get, I'm gonna do three bio cleanse this morning. Three bio cleanse, Hi, wow. Chris. All right, like this, all of this, whatever, whatever. Um, Hi, Jennifer, we're gonna do two vital biome. Two vital biome. These are Plexus supplements. Two Metaburn. Two Metaburn. Vital biome helps with your mood and stress. Just, it's like happy pill. Vital happy biome. Probiotic. Probiotic, <laughs> probiotic. Um, Metaburn, that is metabolism support, fat burner, energy. Oh, I grabbed the wrong ease. This one's not open and I'm not opening another one. So hold on, gotta get another one. All that money, pissing away. Where is it? Let's see here. I don't wanna open a whole new ease. There it is. Okay. So Ease really helps with inflammation, bloating. Um, I mean, headaches, which are caused by inflammation. So Ease is... Headaches are caused by a number of things. That was very specific. I'm looking up Ease right now on my phone. Let's read about Ease real quick. Plexus Ease capsule. Take it easy it says ease capsules are designed to support healthy joint function and comfort and soothe away the occasional discomforts that results from your active lifestyle it supports your body with naturally powerful compounds to ease discomfort due to overexertion and fatigue okay so it sounds like it's something more for like I guess more like muscle and joint support. So I don't know what she's talking about with inflammation. Let me see. Benefits. Ease occasionally. Ease is occasional discomfort due to overexertion and fatigue. Supports joint health. Reduces occasional soreness due to overexertion of strenuous physical activity. Didn't you just say that? May help relieve temporary muscle soreness after exercise. Complements the body's natural recovery response to acute and temporary tissue damage caused by intense exercise or strenuous physical activity. Bromelin. I'm looking at featured ingredients and bromelin. Family of proteins 
base enzymes naturally abundant in the pineapple plant. Bromelain was used in traditional herbal remedies and contributes to the easing of occasional minor body discomforts. You know, I've actually heard of bromelain before. I mean, I've heard of most of these other ones. I've heard of turmeric before. I haven't heard of New Zealand green lipped mussel, but I, I'm actually familiar with bromelain because um, as I've been very open about, I've had cosmetic surgery. I had a breast augmentation a few years ago and um, I'm in like a plastic surgery group because of it, um, you know, just kind of support. And a lot of the ladies in that group have spoken about bromelain before, like to help with during their recovery. I don't think I used it after I had my surgery, um, but I have heard of it before. Awesome, I'm taking three E's. That's so many pills. Now, if you have a shellfish allergy, you cannot take E's. No, Sorry. Not you can't take E's if you have a shellfish allergy. Yeah, so. It doesn't say anything about that on the website. Label, let's see the label. There's nothing on here about shellfish. Oh, wait a minute, actually, you know what? Featured ingredients, New Zealand green-lipped mussel, derived from a species of mussel with the notable iridescent green shell color. Okay, so maybe that's what she's talking about because mussels are shellfish. Although it doesn't say on the label that you have to avoid it if you have a shellfish allergy, but that's probably where she got that from. What are you doing, bud? Just leave it in there. Is this gonna be the whole video? This drink is the Slim Microbiome Activating Watermelon Raspberry. <coughs> it's my favorite. This is mine. He thinks it's his. This is my drink. Is this gonna be the whole video? This is mine. And even now when I make him his, cause his is orange, he'll like go try to switch our drinks and he'll be like, here, and he'll give it to me. <gasps> that was rude with your nasty hands. You just hit her on the butt. Um, hi Gary. The back. Gosh, it's been so long Gary. Um, but this one's my favorite. This is the microbiome activating watermelon raspberry. Now we've had a lot, a lot of talk about the hunger control black cherry lime. Now that one, um, some people have been testing it out recently, I guess for a while. People who regularly test their blood sugar levels. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but Plexus was like the pink drink was designed to help diabetic and diabetic people, pre-diabetic, things like that. That is an awfully hefty health claim. Let's look that up. Plexus pink drink diabetes. First thing that comes up on my Google search is plexusworldwide.com, how to maintain healthy blood sugar levels. Um, that's the top search result. I see another Facebook post, looks like I'm assuming by somebody else, it says Plexus Slim was originally created for diabetics to help stabilize their blood sugars. Is that true? I'm gonna read the Plexus Worldwide post that said how to maintain healthy blood sugar levels. So I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm looking at the Plexus page. It looks like a post, November 26, 2019. Blood sugar support and why it matters to everyone. Generally speaking, sugars, which come in different forms and varieties are actually carbohydrates with a sweet taste. And I mean, sure. However, you consider the fact that significant amounts of sugar are hiding in surprising places, you might re realize just how hard it is to avoid the sweet stuff altogether. Mm. Monosaccharides versus disaccharides. Monosaccharides also refer to as simple sugars or sugars in their most, most basic form. These include glucose, fructose, galactose. Disaccharides are basically two monosaccharides combined together. Natural sugar versus added sugar when considering sugar in the diet. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to get to a part in here where it says like use their supplements. Okay, this one says plexus balance. As important it is to watch what you eat, get regular exercise. The fact that most of us are going, most of us are going to occasionally experience blood sugar spikes and crashes. Well, yeah, because you're a human, probably. That's why we created Plexus Balance, the technologically advanced form of blood sugar support and carb control. Taken daily, Balance can help maintain blood sugar levels already within the normal range. Wait a minute, if my blood sugar levels are already within the normal range, why do I need Balance? Delay the digestion and reduce the absorption of carbs. This is interesting because on this page, it just talks about balance. It doesn't talk about, what is it? Slim, what she was just talking about. If Slim was designed to help diabetics, I wonder why they wouldn't be talking about it on that page. Let's see what she keeps saying. It helps regulate and maintain a healthy, um, healthy glucose levels. So 
Big health claim. Oh, hi, Leon. Come here. He's Let trying, my cat's out. trying to run to safety Let right now. Out. Yeah. He Can I just say, if you knew that you were going to do a live on social media, you know, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, why would you not like put yourself in a in an area or a spot where there are minimal to no distractions? Like, I, I mean, I don't understand. Like her kid is clearly distracting her and being loud. It's like, I would like you to just get to the point of what you're trying to say. But every other minute she's talking to her kid. He went behind the chair. So people who um, are diabetic and who have to test their blood sugars have been using, like have been experimenting. And so they've been using the black cherry lime hunger control one. And they have noticed that their blood sugar levels... I don't know how, how much more I can take of this. I like kids in small doses. I love my friend's kids. I love being the fun, cool aunt to my friend's kids. I'm okay with most kids in small controlled doses, but this is like a really high dose right now, especially because you just screech it. It goes back to like what I was saying. Like, why would you be doing a live when your kid is like needing you and like talking to you and stuff like that? <sighs> Are a lot better um, than with the other drinks. So that is something to think about. Um, I have been out of the microbiome activating for a little bit, so I've missed it. So I've been using the hunger control. Okay, so hunger control, hunger control plexus. She also said that there have been people who have been using this supplement and it's helped their diabetes. That was a very, very vague statement. Um, what people, how often are they using it? Are they being consistent with using it? Or how do you know that it's the supplement that's actually causing helping their blood sugar and not like lifestyle changes overall? These are questions that I'm asking. Slim hunger control, yes. Slim hunger control is specially formulated with polydextrose to help you feel full longer and shed extra pounds, reducing your desire to overeat. Enjoy less hunger, more control, delivered in a refreshing blood orange, lemon, lime, or black cherry, lime blossom flavor with only 15 calories. Sound like good flavors. All right, so it's just like a stick supplement. Clinically demonstrated to help you lose weight, helps reduce hunger, supports healthy glucose metabolism, support, supports enhanced satiation and satiety, supports hydration when mixed with water. Doesn't anything support hydration when it's mixed with water? I do not test blood sugar levels, but I, I feel better with the microbiome activating. I don't know what it is, but I've noticed more results. Here, he's right. I'd like to know what she means by results. She said, I feel better and I notice more results. I'm curious about what exactly that means. Something that we see a lot in people who start using dietary supplements and then feel like they see a lot of like amazing changes and results from the use of a dietary supplement. And this is not limited to multi-level marketing companies also, by the way. Something that I've noticed that happens, let's use weight loss because that's, off, that's a goal of a lot of people. So they have a weight loss goal. And then they start taking this dietary supplement that they were told is gonna help them lose weight. So on top of now taking the dietary supplement, they have started exercising regularly. They're eating more plants. They're moving their body more, drinking more water, exercising more portion control whenever they eat. All of those things combined are what likely results in the weight loss and just the overall feeling good. But something that happens more often than not is these people, because they're taking this fancy dietary supplement, they attribute all the changes that they've seen in their weight and their health and their well being to this dietary supplement in the supplement alone and nothing else. But really it's more likely you feel good and you've lost weight because you've changed your eating habits and you started exercising more regularly. So is it just because of the supplement? Probably not. Also probably a combination of the placebo effect. Right here, buddy. He's right here, look. And I love how it tastes, but I love how they all taste. So, um, but there's that. Oh. Yes, there's Leon. You gotta be really, really gentle. Be really, really gentle. I don't trust you. I don't trust him with him at all. Tell him to put the cat down. He's so gentle. And that's here. Yeah, nice. Fritz, Fritz, Fritz. The scratching, okay. Fritz, Fritz. Okay. My. Be really easy. Good job. Yeah, be really gentle. Then maybe take the cat from him if you're concerned. Oh, that makes me nervous, Rick. Here, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're getting a water? No, watch, he's gonna point to the plexus stuff after this water. He does it every day. He'll like come get me. He's like, Mom, come. pink? <laughs> you want it to be pink? Yes. Her kid asked for a plexus pink drink. What the f?
<laughs> he wants it to be pink. <laughs> okay, I'll make you one too. So normally I would give him- I thought most plexus dietary supplements, I, I feel like I've read under a lot of their products, not for people under 18. Now I'm not a pediatrician, but I feel like that kid is probably under 18, but I'm not a pediatrician, so I could be wrong. Um, I don't wanna give my slim microbiome. He's getting orange, hopefully he'll like it. We'll see. But, we'll see. you want your vitamins too? Okay, hold on. Look. I just don't know where anything is right now. Let him down. Okay. Come here. Thank you. Good job. Look, you want this one? It's mine. Okay. All right, so I'm going to make his drink. This is the Mega Kids Microbiome. Okay, she just said Kids Microbiome because I'm looking at the label right now under the Plexus Slim Microbiome, and it says not recommended for use by individuals under 18. But they have a kid's one, then I mean, I'm assuming it's probably the same deal, just a smaller dose. We all need a healthy gut. We all need a healthy gut. It changes so much, you guys. Um, literally changed my life. And I'm in no way perfect with this. There are some days that I, I miss my supplements. Um, not too often. Um, I don't eat perfectly. Like I'm human. Um, I have some days are better than others, but one thing you can do is just be consistent. Just be consistent, change up your regimen when needed. I have noticed that I've had to change some things up, um, sometimes cause I was listening to actually my friend Melody yesterday. I think it was yesterday. And she, and it's crazy. Cause like I was literally thinking the same. Um, I could have sworn I just saw a bangles. Like, you know how there's like a heart and a like and all that. I thought I saw bangles. So that was weird. Um, but she had said it. Like, your body does get used to it. And she's so right. So I had switched up my regimen, I guess, a few weeks ago. It just really depends. But, you know, you got to switch it up. Just like with anything else. Hi, Alex. Nice name, girl. All right, here, come get your drink. Come get your drink, boy. Come get your come plexus, here. boy. Oh, we've got some pumpkin spice burn in here. Oh, and look at this. I don't know if you guys saw the post about my daughter saying, don't forget my camp hat, my camping hat with the reindeer. Look who forgot it. I did, not her. What is the point of this live? <laughs> I forgot her hat. So sad. Or get off the cat. See, that's what I'm saying. I gotta really watch him. Come here, Ryan. Poor kitty. He's, He's so cute. Boy. Oh my gosh. This was the stray cat that was not going to be a house cat, but is totally a house cat. And he's. Can I just say, I haven't, I think I've only mentioned it in one other video. Me and my husband were adopted by a stray cat and um he lives in our garage now and kind of like in our yard he hangs out on our front stoop and in our driveway and stuff i don't think i've mentioned that publicly but if any of you i know some people like follow my husband and my husband has been posting about a, a garage cat that's the cat we named her leah are we sure that it's a female no we're not um we're planning on getting her to the vet but we are still working on building her trust but she adopted us a few months ago and yeah, we have a cat now. That's so funny. That's what, like, whenever people say the cat distribution system, I get it now. I get it. Awesome. He's such a good boy. All right. Want to say bye? No, bye. Oh, Deidre, that was you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, I swear I saw a Bengals thing. That was, that was really cool. No. Um, that's awesome. Bye. Come here. No. You don't want to say bye? You being a punk? Whatever. Oh, don't mind my shirt. We are not getting lit. This is a painting shirt. This was from a bachelorette party that I went to like two years ago. I don't even know. Two years ago. A year and a half. I really can't think of the time right now. And it is a painting shirt because that's what we've been doing all weekend. So the bathroom is going to be amazing. We got a special little touch on the bathroom and we haven't done it anywhere else. We're going to also do it in the kitchen. Hey, don't kick your mama. You don't kick your mama. Oh. Such a little stinker, stinker, stinker. 
You don't kick your mama. So I need to get off here. I need to go get a shower. Ow! I need to get a shower, get ready for church. Um, then my son and I are going to go do something. Not this son. Well, he'll be there too. My oldest. Ow! He just headbutted me in the butt. Um, the he kid's like to, beating her up. I don't want to show it on social media because I don't want her to see it. But there's this like little thing back here we got to drop off to somebody. Um, to his girlfriend. Um, and I can't wait to post a picture of it. It's so cute. I'm so proud of him. But all right, y'all have a good day. Happy Sunday. Um, reach out if you need anything at all. If you need a friend, if you need a plexus person, I'm both of those. So, um, and she's a friend and a plexus person. But she's probably going to be a plexus person first. Thank you, Deidre, on the shirt. Chris, you have a good day, too. Um, I'm just going to walk around and start, like, cleaning stuff. Oh, my gosh. You're crazy, crazy. So, yeah, house full of energy this morning, for sure. Besides Austin, he's not up. This kid was up until, like, 1 in the morning last, like, 1 in the morning. I don't get it. I don't get it. So, all right. Bye-bye. I'm not making you say, get off my drink. Look at him. He's got my drink. Hold on. Give me my drink. Yeah. See, I made his. What happened? I know I said I was going to go, but. Here, honey. Here. Here, you want this? Yum, yum. All right. For real, bye this time. Well, that felt very anticlimactic, I must say. This was 11 minutes and 38 seconds long, and I feel like she only ever talked about the product for maybe a total of about three minutes, three or four minutes total talking about the product. It might've been a little longer than that. It felt like a majority of this was her just like showing her kid, talking to her kid, telling your kid to put the cat down, telling your kid to chill, saying something about her other kids, and like walking around her house aimlessly saying random things. I don't understand the point of this lie. We know that people in multi-level marketing companies tend to do tend to do a lot of these like lives, like they'll go live on Facebook, live on Instagram. We've reacted to a lot of lives before. Um, and like, I thought the point of them was supposed to be like pushing the product. I mean, they don't call it that. Like it's supposed to be like, here's me using this product that I love so much. If you want some, hit me up. <laughs> what we just watched just did not really feel like that. It just felt like there was not a lot of substance. Like if I were somebody who was interested in learning about Plexus and wanting to join Plexless, Plexless, and I watched that whole live, I would be pretty pissed because she didn't really say anything. She made health claims about the products and then cited nothing to back up those health claims, which is not really surprising because that's kind of, you know, that's the book on these people. So yeah, huh. I apologize if that video was not as climactic as I was expecting, as they usually are. I feel like this video was not super thick on education, but it was more dense on entertainment. So I do hope at the very least you were entertained. That's why I don't do a whole lot of unscripted videos because like, when I go unscripted and I'm like reacting to something that somebody sent me, I always run the risk of not really loving the content. Not that I don't appreciate being sent things. That's not at all what I'm saying. Please keep it coming, seriously. I just feel like she spent so much of that video talking to her kid, talking to her cat, rambling on about other nonsense stuff. At the very least, I hope you were entertained by this video. I'm gonna show you my dogs now because I know that's why most of you are here. If you made it to this point in this video, I do really appreciate you sticking through it. My October schedule was lacking for obvious reasons. Once again, I'm a dietetic intern. I already have my November schedule plan and I kind of have right now an unplanned week off. So I'm going to take this week to try and um, get some stuff filmed, get some stuff scripted and get some things pre-uploaded for uh, November. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much for making it to this point. I really appreciate all the engagement, the comments, the watch time, the love. Um, you guys have been so incredibly supportive during this during this time for me. And I just really, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I really do. Enough about me and my boring life. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content similar to it, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and you know the drill. I'll see you guys in the next one. Queen Lemon over and out.
What goes on here? Alpha, would you like to say goodbye to your people? What about you, Zeus? Too busy, huh? All right, let's see if Onyx has anything to say. What's up? He doesn't have anything to say, but he does expect belly rubs. Wow, really? Really? <laughs> He's like, I can't really entertain to people, but I will receive belly rubs. Aren't you? Oh, you're such a big old man. <laughs>